thousands of years of history wiped out in one day. The assault on the ancient Assyrian city of Nimrud was vicious. Using heavy equipment, members of the so-called Islamic State bulldozed through the site. It was a direct attack on Iraq's rich cultural heritage. Nimrud was considered to be the jewel of an ancient Mesopotamian empire. Founded in 13th century BC, it was the capital of Assyria, an old kingdom which presided over much of present-day Iraq. This reconstruction shows the spread of the site, over more than three kilometres. It was home to a splendour of temples, palaces and huge statues, all overlooking the majestic Tigris River. While many relics from Nimrud had been excavated and moved to museums, the site was still a rich source of statues like these famous winged bulls. It is unimaginable to think such artefacts have been destroyed. The attack has sparked international condemnation. I would uh, characterize this as the worst form of ethnic cleansing and, and cultural, cultural cleansing. I would uh, also characterize this as a warfare, part of the warfare, and as a crime against humanity. It's not the first such assault by IS militants. Earlier this month, footage emerged of some of its members hacking away at old statues at the museum in Mosul. And these pictures, showing the hardline Islamist militants using jackhammers to demolish priceless statues, send shockwaves around the globe. The group says these valuable relics promote idolatry that violates their interpretation of Islam but it is believed that IS is also looting these ancient sites, taking the antiquities and selling them off as a source of revenue. The destruction of Nimrud is already being compared with the Taliban's demolition of the Bamiyan Buddha rock sculptures in Afghanistan in 2001. And as the world reels from the loss of one of the greatest archaeological finds of the 20th century, there are fears of what may still come. Serena Chowdhury, BBC News.